Do you derive joy in hurting whom you loved? Do you derive joy in trying to make someone you claim to love always shed tears for you uh, every day? Uh, so these are the words of uh, Pastor Jeremiah Fufeyin uh, from, I think, Delta State, yeah, to our KBAC, allegedly, okay, concerning the whole thing that is happening. You know, um, one thing about Christian is they are there as in Christian pastors or pastors, they are their uh, brothers, keepers, so you won't see one crying and you'll be jubilating. That's just one thing I've come to notice about them. So, uh, Pastor Jeremiah do read, already reached out to KBAC concerning the whole thing going on between KBAC and uh, Queen Naomi. So, I think this is the second time he's actually saying something allegedly concerning the Palace of Ilefe Kingdom. So, right now, he's not happy about the whole situation, about everything. In fact, the way everything is just going on inside the Palace of Ilefe Kingdom and that was the reason why he sent out this direct message to KBAC to know if he derives joy um, from hurting the one when he claims say he loves so much. So before we dive right into it, happy Sunday to you all. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching this video from. And anytime you come across this video, how are you all doing today? I hope so on a day. Enjoy on a Sunday. Hmm. So my brothers and sisters, so hmm. Pastor Fufei Jeremiah. It already shook mouth for waiting concern KBAC and Queen Naomi Shele Kola. So, you know, now I think the time when, when you do already put mouth for this thing was the time that uh KBAC said that he's going to give Queen Naomi total freedom. So, um, this pastor shook mouth for inside the matter as in demanding for the freedom that as in take the CM now freedom now in go settle everything. Uh, let's say later KBAC come promise say in go just do the reunion that in go just send the wives away then Queen Naomi can now come back to the palace of Ilefe Kingdom. So everybody was so happy that okay finally finally KBAC is going that route where everybody wants him to go. In fact they are happy that KBAC is finally putting an end to all these online basketballs here and there. So now after August, so we come to hear another information concerning the palace again that they are now obtaining for total freedom. And KBAC already make them known to the entire public saying no, they give Queen Naomi any freedom at all, at all, at all, allegedly. So allegedly for on top internet, we don't already hear say uh, KBAC insisted that Queen Naomi must come back to the palace of Ilefe Kingdom with his son. That uh, she he can't afford to lose Queen Naomi forever. But you can't afford to lose Queen Naomi forever. But those things that needed to be different those things that you need to do to make sure that queen naomi gets back to the palace you're not doing it we are not seeing you do it at times we will be, we'll be like we are uh, we are not even seeing you that serious to to do the needful okay so and in fact this though this is it's eggs a bit hot it hurts so right now uh pastor jeremiah fufe you don't carry out shook for the matter according to him that he see the in fact the way where he take the see all these things no be in fact no be something where you go do to the one where you love no be every month now you go to just they carry him up and down like this so because since work with naomi left that palace now every month new story like this kbs go just come up allegedly with one news this month okay last month august he was like okay i'm going to reunite with olomi naomi okay forever this forever that so everybody was like happy okay look at this month again uh he was like give me extra time so if now your daughter you know go they help you if now my daughter may i tell her if now my daughter the reunion self i know go ever they interested into it again now to give my daughter total freedom now i go the opt-in for so right now uh pastor jeremiah don't already give out uh, a strong um uh, word of advice to kbac in fact we like call it a, a warning that uh, all these things he's doing that he should be very very careful so that the wrath of god will not come and meet him that if he doesn't want queen naomi in his life again he should just go ahead and give the woman her total freedom but if he wants queen naomi in her life then let him do the needful in fact, the man ended up with, uh, with this uh, uh, saying that uh, KBAC should go ahead and give Queen Naomi total freedom. He also made mention of uh, something like uh, you can't eat your egg and have it back. Because when you look at KBAC, you see that at times some of the things he does, uh, all this alleged information, some of the things he does, uh, you find out that he just wants to eat his cake and have it back. But it's not going to work. It, it doesn't work like that. So I like the fact that uh, 
Pastor Jeremiah, Prophet Jeremiah came up with the suggestion, in fact, with the, the, um, the, this thing of uh, talking to KBAC. Because at times, if you are doing something and everybody is keeping quiet, it will, it will be as if you are on the right track. But when this person tells you that what you are doing is wrong and the other person made, uh, made that note to you as well, and another person come and tell you again, and another person come and tell you again, ah, you know that what you are doing is not the right thing to do. So I guess the, what this pastor did, what this prophet did right now is the best thing to do. Let him, he need to call Kabi a city order. Because in fact, this thing don't linger for so many. Uh -uh. Okay, now you don't already reach one year where you take married days, six wives. And the way where Kabi a city take the duam, the man, uh, the prophet allegedly also revealed that, see, that uh, the way Kabi a city take the do this thing, you will know that Kabi a city is not ready to divorce the six wives. He wants to keep them because of material things when they get from them. And you know, say, um, Olori, Miriam, and Ronke, at times, they don't come out, come brag, say they carry money, they get money like this, so they have this, they have that. So, KBSC might be like, because when you solve the internet, uh, and you're shaking the top 10 richest obas in Nigeria, uh, I think KBSC is number two. After Oba Kinrutan, uh, you get KBSC. I think KBSC should be number three. I don't know. It's between number two or number three. I've forgotten. So, keeping these wives uh, as well can... In fact, they will not be bringing in money. Okay, look at Oluironke has, uh, she has an uh, Adire or this thing, uh, factory or something like that. In fact, so many of them, uh, uh, Miriam has her own money. All of them had, in fact, they have, they are well to do. That is the reason why he, he always marry women of source, women of timber and caliber. So, um, the prophets revealed that the way where he take the sea KBS is so that KBS is not ready to divorce these six women because of what he's getting from them. It's not because he loves them. No, he doesn't love them according to this prophet allegedly that he, KBS does not love these six women. That KBS is just interested in what he gets from them. That the one where KBS loved truly now, Olori Naomi Shilekola. But he might be like, oh, you know, me just one. Uh, these six women, their world, to put, their world put together will elevate me. Uh -huh. My, I will now come up to top to, uh, number one in top ten or something like that. So you see that keeping these six oloris is just for the material aspect of it and not the love. And that is the reason why these women are doing as it pleases them in the palace of Elefe Kingdom. Because they know so well that Kabi Esi will not agree to divorce them because of what they have. And not the love he had for them. He doesn't love them allegedly on top internet where would they hear so. So that's it for my country people. So uh right now, Prophet um um Prophet Jeremiah don't reach out to KBAC. And you know, say uh they are not enemy, they are sort of friends. Okay, I I guess in fact I be, let me assume that KBAC will be able to listen to the prophet of God. Nobody today we don't they hear prophecy concerning this palace. I don't know what is keeping KBAC. Prophet Jeremiah allegedly revealed that he wanted the union to, to, to come back together. But as he takes the CM now, KBSC is still interested in the material things that these other Oloris had. But they will reunite back together in some time. So I believe every prophet, once they prophesy like this, they will end up telling everybody that someday that Queen Naomi and uh, KBSC, in fact, the both of them are going to reunite again and nobody will be able to separate them. So as it take be right now, we don't already know say now nah, because of the material things where these women go give to KBS. That is the reason why once they do something that in fact that requires them to leave the palace, KBS will be like taking it too softly on them. And that is the reason why they, they do away with everything, anything. That is the, the reason why they will just carry something, put for mouth and be beating more than they can shoot. Anyway, it's well, it's well, or it's well, it's well, it's well. So um, under the comment section where I saw this alleged information, so many people already knew about it. Yeah, so many people. Some people were like, yes, they knew it, that uh, they sus suspected it times without number. The way Olori Marian would take do something inside palace and KBSC would not even shun her. KBSC would do as if he didn't notice what Olori Marian did. 
Oloironke, on the other hand, will do his own. Kabiesi will still carry her, uh, will do her own, don't mind me. Kabiesi will still carry her and go out for events, this, that, 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 this. So, they were like, yes, they knew it already. They knew it, that they are waiting for someone to come and spill it out so that they will support that person. That they have, sus they have suspected it and knew that Kabiesi is just with them for their for what uh, material things he's going to get from them. That he doesn't love them, that he's only Queen Naomi that he loves so well. So that's it, my people. So many people with their own opinion that uh, KBSC does not love them. He's not with them for their material things. That KBSC is well to do already. That what does he need the the wealth of the women to do? That uh, KBSC, this KBSC, that some people went as far as saying that uh, KBSC doesn't even love Queen Naomi. That KBSC has moved on with her, his life. That he he's not even doing any. In fact, he doesn't even want to see Queen Naomi uh, around anywhere close to the palace again. I don't know. These people are the people that we call Ndiobia. Oh yes, those people will get strong mind ahead. So that's it, my country people. Now that's just what I saw on top internet. So I said, let me carry it and come to you people so that you follow me and put mouths. Yes, shoot mouth into the matter. Drop your opinion about it under the comment section. Okay, in case if you haven't subscribed, please do so and turn on your bell notification so that immediately I upload new video, you'll be the first to get notified. I'll see you soon in my next upload. Bye. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.